Good day, everybody. It's Michael Leveres with Jurisq.com, a legal network where we answer your commonly asked legal questions. And today we bring back Jakob Spector, an immigration attorney. Jakob, welcome back. Thank you for being with us. Hi, Michael. Uh, Jakob, at our last session, we talked about green card, how you can possibly get that revoked, because you never know, nothing set in stone. Even your green card, you can make some mistakes intentionally or unintentionally and get that revoked. But what people don't understand that even your citizenship, once you get your passport, you did your oath, uh, you got your certificate of naturalization, even your citizenship you could possibly lose if you uh, haven't been born in America. And um, the one instance I can think of where you read about how now, 70 years later, they catch uh, war criminals from World War II, they catch these Nazis in America who got their citizenship, but they fail to disclose on their application that in their past lives in Nazi Germany, there were SS guards somewhere. So that's the one uh, bright example uh, how you can lose your citizenship. Can you tell us how else and whether it really is that petty, where if you make even a little mistake on your application for citizenship, you could put your passport at jeopardy. How does that work? Uh, you know, uh, well, first of all, okay, if there's any Nazi war criminals that are listening to us right now, okay, um, uh, you know, this video is really not for you guys, okay? Uh, as you know, there is no statute of limitations for war crime, okay? So, you know, losing, losing, if you, if basically, and it's probably true for anyone who is convicted of a serious, serious crime, okay? You know, um, your immigration situation might be the least of your problem, okay? Just, you know, do good, don't do bad. Now, right. having said that, okay, even though um, uh, it might sound pretty scary, you know, you lie to the government on your naturalization application, they can try and revoke your citizenship, mm -hmm. okay? So, uh, that's actually, uh, while uh, in theory, it is it is true, okay? But in practice, uh, you're pretty much safe. You know, if there is anything that, you, uh, you know, uh, on, uh, in one of our previous videos, we talked about how easy it is to lose your green card, okay? Now, if you get your citizenship, that's essentially a home run, okay? It's going to be pretty difficult for you to um, to lose your naturalization once you become a u.s citizen and i'll tell you why mm -hmm. okay yes it's true if you do lie to uh, the government while you uh, um fill out that naturalization application and that's easier than you might think because that application is 20 pages long they ask for all kinds of things they ask right. for the names of your ex-spouses they ask for the names of your spouse's ex-spouses you can easily make a mistake very easily so mm -hmm. The government understands that, hey, you know what? People's memory isn't perfect, okay? They're not going to uh, try and take your citizenship away if they find out that you uh, forgot your ex-wife's date of birth. So would you say mistake has to be, or omission has to be material? Material, exactly. You know, that's uh, pretty much the standard that the government will use. Mm -hmm. And even then, uh, if uh, they're not really interested, if you're not a Nazi war criminal, okay? even if uh, that they learned that you made a material omission or a material mis a misrepresentation on that application, most right. likely they will not go after you, uh -huh. okay? Simply because, uh, you know, um, uh, there's lots of uh, bad things going on in the world and the government has a limited amount of resources. You know, right. they will go after actual criminals, not after someone who, you know, for uh, maybe, maybe uh, we all get bad advice sometimes. You know, we, uh -huh. sometimes we, um, uh, you know, we do things that we really shouldn't be doing, such as lie on the government form, okay? And uh, even if the government learns that you lied, you, you, it wasn't a material lie. You know, if you actually did, dis did disclose what you were supposed to disclose, you might have had to maybe file more paperwork or uh, do another interview, or maybe your naturalization might have been denied at that point, right? And you would have needed somebody like me to do uh, to take additional steps for you to eventually get your citizenship but you decided to lie to the government you took that risk 
the government approved your application, you became a citizen. Okay. Later yeah, on, I have a question. But what if, upon advice of your attorney, who is not as ethical as uh, he or she should be, and uh, the attorney said, "Ah, don't worry about it. It's okay to lie on your application about this and that." And then the government finds out. Can you use that as a defense, as an excuse that your attorney approved your lie? You know, you cannot. Uh, unless it's, um, uh, don't forget that your attorney is your agent, mm -hmm. which means that anything that your attorney does for you, essentially you are doing that mm -hmm. through your agent. Okay, you're supposed to review all the paperwork that someone prepares for you. You're supposed to review the tax returns into your account and files for you. Right. Um, um, just because they were doing something that they weren't supposed to, but you signed that paperwork does not absolve you of the responsibility. That's the Nicole. lesson. That's the lesson. Reliance yeah, yeah. on, better, on bad advice is not a an excuse. Right. Now, of course, uh, how do we expect to know, okay, what, let's say, our accountant is filing for us, okay, to the IRS? I look at those forms and I have no idea, okay? But generally speaking, uh, uh, your, uh, you know, your accountant is not uh, really trying to deliberately to lie to the IRS because he will lose his license, okay? Same thing with your attorney, okay? I will not be deliberately lying to the government and putting, putting my license in danger right. just to make my client's life a little easier. I, my job is to make my client's life easy, but within the bounds of the law. Sure. Okay, so most likely, if your lawyer tells you, okay, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe wait for five years until you apply for citizenship, or maybe uh, you know do uh, uh, you know do this, this, and that before you apply for citizenship. Follow that advice. Don't take a shortcut. Golden now, words. If, golden, golden words. <laughs> yeah, words to yeah. live by. Hopefully, yeah. we all can live by those words which might not always be possible, but we should certainly try to. Very good. So, uh, Yaka, the takeaway, uh, I summarize that what I heard from you, is that it is possible to lose your citizenship, but it's very uh, hard because the government has to prove that you made a material omission or misrepresentation on your application. Correct. So definitely, you have to be truthful but don't fret if you made some kind of mistake that's not uh, significant. But always better to ask your attorney. In other words, if you aren't sure about something, I think the best thing you can do is consult with an expert, with somebody who does this for a living, who has seen it all, who ask knows the how the government would react if they find something like that. Somebody like Yakov Spector could guide you along the way in filling out your application for your citizenship. Did I summarize it correctly? You you did, Michael. One thing that I just want to add, uh, and you might think, guys, how do you uh, how do you really? Um, I mean, how would the government once you become a citizen would they want to go back to your application and start reviewing it? I mean, that never happens. Why would they do that? But don't forget that once you become a citizen, let's say you want to you want to file for your elderly parents abroad, right? You want mm. you might get married to someone. Uh, um, you know, back in your home country and might want to apply for your wife. That's um, right. Your, even, even though your citizenship is probably safe, 99% safe, but the government can, under these circumstances, go back to that application. Let's say if you're applying for your loved ones. Yeah, and now imagine a situation when, you know, you, you, or you lied for a really stupid reason, um, you, you became a citizen, and uh, then uh, your uh, loved one's applications is in jeopardy. Very okay, interesting. So uh, be be uh, be careful. The government will not go after you for even once they learn that you lied on that application. Ninety nine percent chance that your citizenship is safe. That's a takeaway. But one, uh, uh, they could, they could. So it's best to keep things uh, honest. It's best to keep always simple, just for your loved one's sake. Excellent. Very good. Okay, thank you for that advice. I didn't think about that, that you have to think about the future because your file could possibly be reviewed or audited if you apply down the road for your relatives to come to America. Excellent, excellent point. Okay, Yakov, thank you so much.
We're going to bring you back shortly for more questions on immigration law because you are our go-to person for immigration topics. We appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for turning in. And of course, today and always, we talk about law generally without addressing your specific situation. If you have a specific question, case you want attorney to look at or consult you on, contact the number on the screen for Yakov Spector, an immigration attorney, and he'll be happy to answer your question. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.